Hey there, Luke. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to be talking about, you know, savannas and the important for savannas uh, for our environment and all about savannas. So really cool and interesting topic. We're going to talk with uh, MDC's Jordan Bashirs, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about savannas. And we're actually on a private property today, and they have a very beautiful savanna, and we're going to check that out. Let me turn this around. And we'll talk with Jordan. Hey there, Jordan, how are things today? Doing well, Lucas, how are you? Doing well, doing well. So, savannas, you're standing in a savanna. I mean, it's really pretty out here on this private property here. Tell us, you know, why they're so important. I mean, what is a savanna and why is it so important and why should people know about it? Right, well, savannas are, uh, these days are a fairly rare habitat type here in North Missouri. Uh, once upon a time, we had a lot more of this sort of habitat. And uh, I think currently less than 1% of what used to be remains so they're 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 pretty important they provide wildlife value and habitat value for lots of different critters here in Missouri uh, you'll notice the trees are mainly oak species that's a post oak there that you're looking at now um, depending on the soil types that can vary anything from post oak to swamp white oak bur oak um, all of those are very fire tolerant species we're standing right here in Missouri where the Grand Prairie of the north met the more Ozarkian habitat or uh or land use or yeah yes to the I, south I know what you're saying <laughs> and uh so we, there was a there was a very serious fire history this land was burning every year or two and did so for a thousand years so or thousands of years uh in turn only the fire tolerant species survived especially up here on the ridge types ridge tops where we had more grass and wildflowers in our fuel load and more flashy f fuels the fires were hotter Thus, the species with the big, thick, corky bark like post oak were able to survive that. Um, savannas are really cool. Um, think, of about, think of it as like a prairie with uh, trees kind of polka dotted throughout. So you get all the benefits basically of prairie with the, the diversity of wildflowers and native grasses. The benefits of that would be for pollinating, pollinator species, uh, small game, turkeys, deer, you name it. And then of course, the big, the big, bigger open grown trees get a lot of sunlight and they produce a lot of hard mass. So like these post oaks, uh, I've been here in the fall when they're raining down acorns and that's really important for fall and winter food source for critters like turkeys and quail and deer as well. well how does this show that is a healthy habitat here? When you have a savanna, that, that's important. I mean, well, you don't, like you said, 1% and there is a savanna here and right. this shows you it's very healthy. Right. Um, I think the main point would be a lot of these savannas have gone to the wayside due to land use change, you know, with the growing population and just, um, you know, trying to feed the world, if you will. A lot of these areas that were semi easy to access, the, the trees have been cut or pushed out and they've been converted to some sort of agricultural practice. Um, here, this one, this one uh, survived the chainsaw and the, and the plow and the open ground survived the plow and we've got a pretty intact natural community here. That's so, why it's very important. So very beautiful. And, it, and this provides uh, all kinds of uh, habitat and um, so forth for wild animals, correct? Like, you know, what would be more use, chances of using the savanna more than anything? It does for sure. So definitely uh, there's lots of songbirds that use it because it attracts a lot of insects that they are gonna be foraging on in the summertime. Uh, turkey poults, it's super important for them. Again, they're feeding on, you know, more than 90% of their diet during the growing season is from from insects, which this area attracts. And then, like I said, in the fall, the, uh, the big oak trees are big time mass producers, make a lot of acorns, and that gets uh, our critters through the winter, like deer, quail, turkeys, uh, you name it. All right, well, where can we learn more about savannas? Uh, uh, if someone's interested in you know, finding a local savanna, maybe at a conservation area in Northern Missouri, or just in general, no, learning more about the importance of savannas, where can you find more information? Right, so you can go to mdc.mo.gov, our website, and you can search our Conservation Atlas database and look at the different habitat types that we've got to find which areas have, uh, or which conservation areas have savannas. And then we've also got um, a link to a page that gives more specifics and information on the different, on the various habitat types, whether it's savanna or woodland or prairie. So All right. Lots of information on there. Good stuff. I appreciate it, Jordan. And I'm going to echo exactly what Jordan said. For more information on savannas and uh, the beautiful habitat that savannas provide uh, for the environment, you can check out our website at mdc.mo.gov. 
Thanks everyone for tuning in today. You all have a great rest of the afternoon.